Hello, and welcome to the heat pit that is known as Oblivion. Don't know why, it's not that extremely hot here, but it's hot enough to make things miserable. But we'll, we'll deal. Welcome to things. Things, they exist. Look at them. Like these fires. These fires exist, don't they? Yes, they do. All right, I've been sent on another task. Another task in a land called Crazy. Shale Gorath wants me to relight the Great Torch of New Shayoth. I need to go to the ruins of Claren, uh, kindle the flame of uh, Agnon there, and return it to the ho return it with its holy fire. Shagorath warned me that the uh, Golden Saints and Dark Seducers who guard the Shrine of often fight each other, so I should proceed cautiously. I don't even know where we're headed. Somewhere to the north? Oh, wow. Okay, that's the first we've traveled so far. I can at least teleport us to the Barrow and now take out half the journey. Let's go to the barrel and then summon him. And see if he has anything more to say by the time we get there. After I also get on the road, we're in safe for a few moments. Yes, is there something you require? <laughs> no, the Pearson is not. Thank you, though. I live to serve. Ooh, what happened to your face? Um. <laughs> Summon him as a meat shield in battle. And I need to double check my gear. How's the sword doing? It's getting low. And then these things are charged up, as I feared. Of facing towards it should be like over here somewhere. Taking the sun. Leave a 
I've taken both before. Alright. Ah, okay, I would never really noticed that up there. Wow, I've been rushing through charging up things so quickly. Alright, should be good for a little bit, but we need some more. At least one more. Oh, uh, where are we? Where is the road? The road is that away. Uh, I thought the story was going to power itself. So did I. I don't remember having to power it up like this all the time. I think it's Haskell. I can't remember. Off the top of my head. I was looking at it. I heard something over there. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Oh, there you are. Try that again. So, oh, there it goes. Switch from dusk to dawn thing. Makes a click noise and suddenly my hand drops to re-pick it up and it's now blazing orange instead of blue. It does no protection, and the sword is okay, I guess. That does extra stuff now that I've nourished the blade. I think that's what the nourished blade on strike means is that it must uh, get uh, bonuses for each time I do a certain number of kills with it or something. Oh, also, actually, every time it flips, it actually recharges itself. Because look at it, it's 6,600 uh, six, uh, now. Yep. Okay. This thing fancy, but it's not really worth much. It's not that strong. I've held better. 
I still hold better. of order. Just gonna keep teleporting around. Takes a while to close. Oh man. Strong potion of in uh, insulation, potion of meshka, yes. A couple more hearts of the order, sure. A soul an empty soul gem and yeah, diamond. Other than their outfits looking kinda cool looking, they also still have no defensive stats. Sit down. Take those. So many swords on the floor right now. Didn't you have like a wand or a magic staff or something? I didn't think you were wielding a sword, or did you? Hmm. Well, either way, I stopped it for now. Apparently we should loot every heart. Yep. In order to close those things down, it does seem that way. That would explain why they're light with no defense on them, I suppose. Ooh. Game chugged a little bit. I think we're getting someplace where we're gonna need to load stuff again. I see another one of those spires there. I'm willing to bet we're gonna have trouble again. Want trouble? You found it. Come on out. 
No? Oh, in here right now? Okay. Stay as you are then. Alright. We are where we need to be. Have arrived the ruins of Sailorine. Sa uh, sa uh, I Sailor. Sailorine? I don't know how to pronounce that. We're at the ruins. I will need to go speak to the commanders of the Golden Saints and the Dark Seducers to find out how to light the flame of Agnon. Um. Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Silarn. Silarn? Send aside, share Gorath sent me. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the shrine of the Flame of Agnon. I need to light the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the Infernal Maskin. The Armazalkana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. Okie doke. Uh, I take it I need to talk to you. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Amaz, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. Heard of two Golden Saint officers arguing about the best way to attack the Dark Seducers. Lieutenant um, Miral mentioned something about a un under under deep, a secret side passage leading to the Dark Seducer. Uh, sedu yes, Dark Seducer altar. I should find more up uh, more about the passage from uh, Miral. Oh, they want me to talk to him, actually. Hi. Meeting, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Mazkin out of Cylon? Flame of Agnon. The flame is only lit at the command of Sheagorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. I'm sure that our Kana will be glad to help you once the Mazkin are driven from the altar of despair. Um, Kazna. She commands the Orioles here at Cylon. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Relok to end this stalemate once and for all. Urias. That's what we call ourselves, the most loyal and honorable servants of Sheagora. Relich. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. Maskin. The treacherous ones. The dark seducers of ill repute, whose every action drags Sheagorda's holy name through the mud. A bit overzealous, methinks, but okay, the Underdeep. My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armazel Cannon wants to assault the altar down the main passage, but the Mazkin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. If only Kanna would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat! Why doesn't she want to listen? She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Mazkin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Mazkin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. If only I could make Kana see that. 
Altar of Despair? Alas, we have not seen the Altar of Despair for many years. It is in the underground part of Cylon, which is controlled by the Mazkin. The Mazkin do not even allow us free passage to worship there, which is one of the many reasons why they are unfit to continue to guard it. Altar of Rapture. It is just there, at the top of these steps. You would pray for the blinding ecstasy, which is the ultimate reward for those in Sheagora's service? For Sheagora's glory. Uh-huh. right here I think no nope. well if it is it's not telling me I can do anything with it hey. all right I might as well go this way oh apparently it needs a key save Gold's better. Strong clutch of healing and sorcery, sure. It's almost like you expected me to loot these things. <laughs> to mess with the door, gotcha. Our deep is only lightly defended by the dark seducers. It appears that they, uh, that they do not believe the golden saints will attack this way. I should survey the dark seducer deployments along the main passage leading to the altar of despair and then report my findings to Kenneth. Yo. Not sure why we're helping one side or the other, but okay, sure. Yeah, I've been seeing stuff. Oh, okay. Some of them are just weird door things, some of them are buttons that don't really do anything by the looks of it at least. Feeling they're all gonna be ashen remains. Let's leave them be. Yep. He's 
The fences are awful. They literally watched you walk by. <laughs> well, that's because I'm not a glowy yellow person. <clears throat> but yeah, there's very few of them down here. Where's she supposed to go back and talk to the uh, to the other people? Yep. I'm headed that way. Following when the green arrow points me. Dark seducers are defending the main passage to the altar of despair and strength. The route through the underdeep appears to be the only lightly only lightly defended. This information might convince Kena to attack through the underdeep. What is your business here? I'm here on Shergarov's business. Then I am at your service. The Grakedric Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. Altar of Despair. We hold the Altar of Despair, here within the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Continue down the corridor if you wish to meditate there upon the fate of all things mortal. Altar of Rapture. The counterpart to the Altar of Despair. Rapture is currently held by the Aureoles in their complacency, but that will soon change. Aureoles. Our rivals. The so-called Golden Saints. One day, Shea Gorath will finally recognize their bull-headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. No. You're both cr you're all crazy in your own unique way, and he has no reason to get rid of either of you. Anyways, flame. The holy flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas, the Aureoles hold rapture for now. You should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Silarn of the arrogant Aureoles once and for all. Maskin. You know us as Dark Seducers, a name given us by our enemies. But we are the Maskin in our own tongue, Sheogorath's only truly loyal servants. I wonder if I could play both of them like fiddles and have them both invade uh, the different altars at the different time at the same time, and have the altars just switch hands and let the fight continue. Just a thought. She is the Gorkedric, commander of the Mazkin here at Silarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Aureoles, despite their strength. Okay, Doc. Thank you. For Sheo Goreth's glory. Be gone, mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. Your prey? We are preparing to wipe out the arrogant Ariels once and for all. Once they break themselves on our defenses, Cylarn will be ours, a gift for our lord Sheogorath. I need to light the flame of Agnon. Then you have arrived just in time to help us defend the Altar of Despair. 
Once the strength of the Orioles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. Flame of uh, Agnon. The two altars, blessed despair and holy rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my Lord's command, but I only hold despair for the moment. The Orioles hold rapture and are massing to attack us, but never fear, they <laughs> are no match for us. Once their main force is destroyed, with your help, we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. Battle plans. We are expecting the Orioles to attack any moment. They'll come down the main passage from the Altar of Rapture. They always do. They are overconfident as usual. We have prepared many traps and ambushes. It will be a glorious slaughter. Once the Orioles are destroyed, I will light the flame of Agnon for you. Will you help us defend the Altar of Despair? <laughs> They're both smarmy. <laughs> What he's saying that these ones are in particular smarmy. We're going to just attack them from the front as usual. We're totally going to win because we're the good guys. <laughs> now she just has this blank, doe-eyed stare as we're arguing over the chat. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. What are our options? Help you defend the altar. Lead the saints to an ambush. Maybe talk to the saints first. I don't want to get involved. Uh, yeah, he was okay. He was actually at least clever. Let me talk to the saints first. Yes, yes. Their commander, Kana, is gullible enough to take you at face value. She will reveal all her plans to you, Sheogorath's emissary. Beautifully devious. It embarrasses me not to have thought of it first. How may I serve? Easy. Sheogorath's blessings upon you. All right, which way do you want me to go now? Okay, back the way I just came back from. Uh... The altar of rapture will be ours. Wait, yeah, this way. Sheogorath's blessings. They're allowing me to go talk to the other side so I can do silly things. Hail. Hail. How may I serve? Yo. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Maskin. You'd best stand aside. Shagravaraf sent me. I need your help. My pardon, Emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Maskin scum from Cylarn. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Flame of Agnon? Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous Maskin hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the Altar of Despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the Flame of Agnon for my Lord Sheogorath. Now why are you facepalming, Vixi? <laughs> she dumb. <laughs> See? See? You tried picking a side, I'm like, they're both silly. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Let's set her through the underdeep. Fine. Battle plans. The only way to assault the Altar of Despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Mazkin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Mazkin out of Silarn once and for all? Yes, but use the Underdeep. I've already made my decision. We attack down the main passage. What makes you think you can persuade me when my own lieutenant cannot? The Underdeep is lightly defended. You've seen this with your own eyes? I must be sure it isn't a trap if I'm to take such a risk. It isn't a trap, truth. Meryl was very convincing as well. Very well, we'll risk it. The Underdeep it is. May Sheogorath's divine madness possess us today. <laughs> divine madness. Uh. Down with the Mazkin! My soul for Sheogorath. Okay, they want me to go this way. Oh. I'm missing. I must need to go this way. Oh, no. I forgot about the door. on you. Anyways, goodbye. Oh. This way somewhere? Wait, what the hell? What are they doing back here? For the glory oh, there of they go. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> Just a swarm. I took care of the one person guarding the place for you guys. Sure, you can come in mass. Light armor. Meh, I got a style on key. I'm good. Anything interesting in you? Nope, okay.
The altar of despair is ours, but the battle is not over yet. Defensive position for Shea Goreth. They've reached the altar. Madison, two arms for Shea Goreth. Don. Uh, Dark Seducer Commander is dead. I should finish off the main Dark Seducers and uh, in here to complete the uh, Gold Saints victory. For the mad God. Bodies on that one. A top Dark seducers have been utterly destroyed. I should speak to Kana about lighting the flame of Agnon now that her forces control both altars. Same stuff mostly. Shame, I kinda hope I could give, snitch some of the light armor and see if it's any better than what I've currently got. <laughs> You're a porcupine. It's further insult to entry on the fact that the bows are useless in this game still. Victory is ours. <laughs> I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the altar of rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself, here on the Altar of Despair. True, I should actually see if the uh, leader of the group who just crushed had anything good on her. Okay, what are you going to do? The altars can only be kindled by the willing sacrifice of a Maskin or an Oriole. It is my great honor to release my soul to oblivion in service to Lord Sheogorath. Farewell! I will not walk these lands for many a year. Uh, you got a few. Um, okay. Leader body? Actually, I don't think... Okay, no, there should be a body somewhere. Uh. I think she just sacrificed herself. Uh, yep, you know, sacrificed herself for an altar of despair in order to light the flame of Agnon. I can now retrieve the flame from the courtyard and bring it back to the new Sheoff as Sheogorov commanded. Checking for any other named bodies. Not seen any, and I'm pretty sure she was in here. So yeah, I think the the leader of their group only had literally a mace on her. Yep, which is useless to me. That's the trapped path and stuff. Okay. Forgot that was a thing. Speak 
quickly, mortal. Yep, walking into it, guiding me the flame. I stepped into the flame of Agnon and I am now ablaze with the holy fire. I should return to New Shaoth uh, and light the great torch in the uh, Cilium Arden Sul. Oh, while we're at it, one thing we can do before we leave. I wondered how long it would take before you needed my help. And here I am, at your service. <laughs> so Cylon was once the Cylon. capital of the yeah. Shivering Isles. Perhaps the first capital. In any case, the flame of Agnon here is always used to light the great torch of Nusheo. It has always been so, and presumably always will be so. Flame of Agnon. Betraying the dark seducers. The biter's bit, so to speak. Most ingenious. I must say, I really didn't think you had it in you. All right, that's all for now. Thank you. My work is never done. <laughs> you say that as if it's a bad thing. We had a glowy hand as soon as I cast that spell. I'm pretty sure we have flame. It just says we had flame. Oh, my sword changed. Speak quickly, mortal. Up here. You've brought it. The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. <laughs> I want to see the effect before you lose it. Oh. Um. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now and let the holy flame inspire the people of Bliss to new heights of madness. <clears throat> I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Okay. Take care. Sorry, but they did help. A lot. Just this one? Oh. Never mind. I I have no idea. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm a human torch. I don't think it's an inventory item. I think it's just an effect that's on you until you use it. I'm supposed to use a thing over here, but it's not giving me a thing to use it. Or am I so? Or is there an item somewhere? Wow, I need to fix my armor. Oh, just 
walk into it, okay. Don't. Tidings and welcome. Oh. Hello, hello. Get to wherever you need to be whenever you feel like it, huh? Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. Save you time? The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. I can stop the Grey March? Why not? Something has to work! Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter, it didn't slow them down. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell! <gasps> Must have been clowns. <laughs> clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter. And tears. <laughs> but this... Is all new! A fresh idea! Something I hadn't thought of until I did. It's sure to work, even though it might not. <laughs> okay, so what now? Now? You'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone. Is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoth's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke. Or duchess. Whichever. That will command respect. Oh, dear. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints. Whatever. As long as it keeps them on our side. Won't the dukes to be de be uh, be uh, won't the dukes be displeased? No, <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes you need to break a few eggs or skulls. There are rules, though. Even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the High Priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. <laughs> I can't argue that. Grey March. It's already started, but you might be able to stop it. We're making you into a leader that people can trust. Someone to look up to. Someone to blame. Once I'm gone, things usually get bad quickly. Lots of defections, lots of carnage, but with you at the helm, things will be different. Jiggle that. This time... I'll beat him! I can't stand losing, and I don't mind cheating. <laughs> Alrighty. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> your catchphrase, good sir, yes. Hmm? He's, and welcome. He's staring you down, my dude. 
I guess we'll talk to him first. The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Sul in honor of your mighty deed in service to Mania. Hmm. Replacing a duke. Yes. How we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first. Our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. <laughs> ritual of accession. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Uh, right, tell me what to do. Certainly. When the ruler of mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Sheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. I have spoken to Dervin, High Priest of Mania. The ritual of accession for Mania requires the current ruler to commit suicide by taking three doses of green moat. <coughs> Excuse me. Your nose is suddenly acting up. Then the drug tainted blood must be brought to the altar. And at the uh, Salem, I should now speak to Arctanus to learn the Dementia's ritual. Another sheep returns to the flock. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Ritual of s Accession. Seldom is the subject ever... Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Tell me what to do. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the Demented. To become the ruler of Dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the <laughs> Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then... All that is required is the blessing of our Lord, Sheogorath. I spoke to Arctus High Priest of Dementia. The ritual of succession is very simple. So it will have to be slain by the proposed successor and her heart brought to the altar. After I decide which ritual to undertake, I should return to Sheogorath and inform him of my choice. Alrighty, so... Hmm. I have just one question. How long have we been streaming? We have been on for a little over an hour, so I think it's actually about time. We'll have to make the decision. Do Mania, it's a party. Hour and a few minutes. Yes, but the other one's really kind of straightforward and really easy to do. Besides, we'll be killing Syl. Or would you rather Fancy Boy uh, so have his heart explode? <laughs> Uh, 
I prefer he commits suicide after a party thumbs up. Me thinks you're a real big fan of uh, Mania. I'm not really a fan of either side. They're different. They're both very weird and different. Well, I think since we're actually at about an hour right now anyways, that we sit on it and think about it. We'll come back to this uh, Sunday. Yeah, it'll be Sunday. Uh, we'll be the next time we'll do uh, some more Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Uh, next three days I'll be doing streams of Saints Row 2 and trying to get as far into that as we can. We seem to be getting close to uh, ending one of the gangs and there's going to be literally nothing else to stream for the next three days until Saturday. So I'll be doing that. Um, so uh, that's the setup for what's coming up next. I'd like to thank everybody that's been watching. Also, thank you, Big C, for joining me in the chat. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, and to uh, follow if you're watching on Twitch. And if you like the shows enough, you can keep uh, spreading the word around. Or if you really want to help out more directly, you can also help by uh, sending money our way through any of the donation services listed below in our links. That includes Patreon and Streamlabs. Or just subscribing to the uh, Twitch channel if you so desire and get some of the nice little handy emotes there. Anyways, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you again for joining me. And I will see you all tomorrow for some Saints Row 2, followed up by the Unearthly Podcast. See you all then.